Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now I'm going to talk about my interview experience I had with the TD Bank. So for those who don't know, TD is one of the most popular and powerful banks in Canada. And so far I have interviewed two times at TD. The very first time I applied at TD and I did the interviews, I actually had three rounds of interviews being done. First round was with a recruiter. It was just a standard common recruiter type of questions. And the position I applied for was for a junior software developer. It was very early in my career back in the day. So during the second round of interview was actually with the hiring manager and uh, that interview mostly focused on what I have learned, what I have studied, uh, what I have known, what the role is, what the team is, what the project is and also some back and forth conversation around like my behavioral type of experience. And uh, I told you that it was very early in my career. So I did not had some too much working experience to back up uh, what I already know. And uh, they were also not even judging me based on that. During my third round of interview, I had that interview with the actual uh, like tech lead solution architect kind of a person from their team. And uh, I told you that the role was for a junior developer. It was mostly based on Java uh, and role. And uh, they were looking for someone to work on the back end side of the system. So person with like understanding related to Java, Spring Boot, back end like SQL, no SQL type of databases, how you can connect that, how you can, you can deploy them in the cloud. And if I remember correctly, back in the day, they were present in both Azure and AWS. So I think they were they were keen on those skills as well. But the thing is, during that round of interview, I was able to answer most of the questions. They were mainly around like technical side of things. So things such as like common Java related questions that what are the properties of Java? If you have to do, let's say, uh, work with some sort of interfaces and some type of desi design pattern, how would you choose it? Uh, one question I could not answer in that case was that uh, explain if you have to design your own REST API, what are the things you would consider? Uh, and if you if there is like a system you want to generate like a payment uh, gateway kind of mechanism, what are the things you would do? I couldn't answer it. I didn't know what to do. And uh, I tried like few things here and there, but I couldn't answer it. And in the end, they just said that, yeah, I think I was not eligible for that. So I took the, I conceded to their decision and I did not get a job uh, at TD at that moment. Now, later, uh, pretty recently, like a uh, few months back, I guess six months back, I interviewed with TD related to position regarding like a solutions architect. And uh, now this time I have had like good chunk of experience in my TD, in my career so far. I have worked with many different companies and work on a lot of different technologies. So I was much better prepared to answer those those kind of questions. The second time I interviewed with TD, I did not finish the whole process. I left it uh, before the final interview. And the reason why I left it, because I found a much better offer. On top of it, the position at TD was a contract position and the offer at hand was a full time offer. So I was more inclined towards accepting the full time offer. So I did not interview at the TD for the final round. But still, let me share you my experience around this time. Uh, the most recent interview I had with TD. So number one position was solutions architect. The, the requirements were pretty standard. They needed some person with good understanding of system design, uh, how to set up like cloud environments. And they were like, actually looking more towards like data solutions architect related role. So they were looking for a person with good experience with like data breaks and different data solutions, Snowflake. Uh, like if you have large and large sums of data and you are trying to find some anomalies during the transaction that is happening, on top of it, you will have to find it within like one or two seconds, nothing more than that, because you will you want to catch someone abusing the system right away uh, in the act. So you are working with a very limited window of period. So the role was quite interesting because it had a lot of technical challenges that they were trying to come over. Number one interview was with the uh, uh, recruiter. Uh, so it was the standard questions. What am I looking for? Am I incorporated or not? What are my salary expectations and, and things like that? Then I had no behavioral interviews. I had two technical interviews back to back. And then I was scheduled for one more like 
broader gen general system design kind of interview but the thing is during my first two technical interviews for both times it happened that they were only scheduled for half an hour and it's not sufficient time to go over all the technical details and all the questions because it takes like four or five minutes to introduce each other then it takes like four four or five minutes to explain that what the problem is and then it take it took me like 10-15 minutes to explain my thought process and solution by the time i reached there we were all almost uh, there in terms of um closer to towards the end of the interview so in both the cases the interviewer actually reached out to the recruiter asking to reschedule interview with longer period of window and uh, the questions were pretty similar and pretty standard that if you have to design your own system uh, how would you do that we they mentioned that they have this kind of like a payment design system and uh, they are trying to catch the perpetrators on like red handed so what are, what would be the technical decisions you would make? How would you uh, browse through the databases? How would you set up or store your data in such a manner that it becomes much more efficient to query that data and find the anomalies in real time? So it sounded like quite challenging problem and something you don't want to tackle in like 15, 20 minute, 30 minute uh, interview. So that's where uh, like I was able to answer a few things and we were going across different options. Um, also, I was explaining more cloud technologies on what I have worked on and how can I bring, what can I bring it to the table. But once again, we ran out of time. After completing both the interviews, it was good experience. I was really keen towards doing the third round of interview, which would have been a system design interview. And I reached out to them that, hey, uh, what kind of uh, things I should prepare for system design interview. So they mentioned that it is going to be a standard design interview, but we are not keen or we are not focused towards asking you general questions like design Netflix or design Twitter. We are more focused towards this is the exact problem we are trying to trying to solve. And we want to understand your approach into that, that what, how, what are your thoughts? What have you worked upon? How would you like clean up the data? How would you uh, store the transactions? How would you make it pretty fast? What type of architectural decisions you would take and things like that. So it was pretty open ended that, hey, we have this problem and you, you are, we want you to solve it. So how can you solve it for us? That, that was the whole gist of their entire concern. And uh, I wish I had given that interview, but I had few other obligations and I didn't want it to waste my time or their times um, since I knew that I was not going to opt for opt in for that particular role. But overall, TD is a great place to work. I have very good friends of mine who are currently working at TD on various different positions and they are doing pretty well in their career. So if you get a chance and opportunity to work with TD, I would highly recommend working over there. It's a pretty safe, secure uh, and standard job, very secure in, in Canadian banking system. And also it is deeply rooted in can Canadian um, like customers. So it's always going to be like a stable, well paying job uh, that you can rely upon. And uh, this was my experience. Let me know in the comments if you like my experience or not. I did not, I know I couldn't give you like the exact questions. And also first round of interview I did was like many years back. So I don't even think it, it's relevant, uh, but it is what it is. So hopefully you enjoyed it till then. Take care.